Hey, party people, how you doing? Welcome to the Game Dojo. It's your triumph host, The Game Ninja, and you are in the heart of gamer country. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. We have been killing it lately, and you guys, thank you so much for your amazing response. The last old school videos we've been putting up, you guys have been smashing it, and I'm asking you to continue to smash it so that we can do this endeavor, because I love doing it as much as you love watching me doing it. It is for a love of all things gaming that we do these things. So you already know where you are. You're in a game dojo, that's right. So you already know where you are and what we are doing. But the question is, what do we get into today? Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the past couple of gameplays, we've been hitting Sega and Sega hard. We hit the Master System, we hit the Genesis, we hit the Game Gear, we hit the uh, 32X, we hit the Sega CD. Um, got the Dreamcast coming up. Um, we're just so much we've been hitting Sega in. And before that, we was hitting uh, the Nintendo, the NES, the Turbo Graphics. We've just been busting all the old systems. But the great part is a lot of people were chiming in was talking about the handheld aspects of gaming. The handheld aspects of gaming have always been the best. The Nintendo had the Game Boy, which was flyer. Uh, the Sega had the Game Gear, which we did on here, which was also fire. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we go forward into our gameplays and our fun, we can't forget about them. Yeah, that's right. You see that on that wall? That is the PlayStation wall that I'm slowly tilting to. That's right. PlayStation wall. So we have to go to the PlayStation wall because the gameplay today comes from none other than PlayStation. So you may be asking yourself, what? are you possibly talking about well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls oh sorry almost knocked it over <laughs> ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i actually have a magic box of goodies and i know you're like it's mario yeah everything is mario this is the game dojo if you don't know by now then you know me we are nintendo fanboys but we are all things gaming not just nintendo we are all games so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what do we have in the box today? What's in the box? Well, it's under lock and key, and unfortunately, I have the key. Well, fortunately, I have the key. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to unlock the box, pop open, and what do we have inside? Oh, I know you see them little discs. What are those? Those look like CDs. Yeah, because they are. They are mini CDs. And mini CD movies, UMDs, and mini CD games. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Mini CD games. That's right. Can you see those up close? Yeah, what's that? What's that? Can you see that? <laughs> Do you see it? Do you sense its power? You have no idea the power in this. And you were saying, well, what do those things play on? None other than this. What's in this box? What's in the box? We're going to slide it out. I mean, you could probably see it written and crocheted across here. But if you can't really see it, I'm just going to pop it out. Oh, yeah. We can get into some gangster shiz. That's right. If you were wondering, it is Sony's PlayStation Portable. That's right. They had their own beautiful portable game system. Comparary to the PlayStation 2, probably, maybe 3 in graphics. Well, before the 3 came out. I would say more like into the 2, PlayStation 2. And then they had the Vita and everything else that came out. But yeah, this bad boy right here, the PlayStation Portable. I'm telling you, man, you have no idea the love and excitement that this baby holds. That's right. So in this video, let me take a picture. Mike, take the picture. Take the picture. <laughs> take the picture. <laughs> We're going to explore this bad boy, the PlayStation Portable. And we have a ton of games, a ton of games for the PlayStation Portable. So I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to take a magical trip with me and my PSP 
and our beautiful yummy games. That's right. Can you see that? Yummy games. And we are going to have a go of it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get us some gangster shiz. So I want you to sit back, relax with your favorite bag of snacks, and get ready for these game tracks. Because I'm the Game Ninja, and this is just what I do, baby. Let's jump into some PlayStation Portable just for you. Oh, yeah. All right, let's start up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now we might have some copyright issues, so we gonna pause when stuff pops up. But yeah, this is where we at, right here. Up, oh, pause. Welcome everyone to this exciting NBA exhibition game here in Chicago. The visiting Cleveland Cavaliers will face off against the Bulls here on the 2K Games Network. Along with Hart Kellogg, this is Kevin Hart. Here are the starting lineups as we're all set to get underway. This is being run through a capture card in case y'all didn't know. Runs it to Dan, kicks it up inside. Who's the ball with the last touch and they'll turn it over. Side. Feeds it to Dang. 
Bounces it to the left block. Shoots from the post. The Cavaliers bring it up. 2.15 left in the first. To the right corner. To Parker. To Jamison. Hands it to Barron. Seven on the shot clock. To the right corner. To the right side. Launches it. Well, the view is in the area. But when you're guarding a shot shooting like that, you need to be airtight on him before he catches the ball. Rose brings it up the court. He's got eight points. Passes it to Bogans. Back to him. for the three-point play. Lob. They're behind a run to seven. To the right corner, to Parker. To Jamison, tries to post him up. Raises up. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. 126 left in the first quarter. To the 10. Pops it in on the layup. Very few plays for him on offense, but he got it done right there. the first of two. And he splits the free throw. It's his first foul. Shooting two. He knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Cavaliers with the ball, and it's a seven-point game. To the outside, to Barishow. The kick out to Barron. Passes it down low. Jamison backs him down. Bounces it to Davis. Seven on the shot clock. Lead pass to Barishow. Fires on the right clock, and pulls on. Bulls with the ball with a two for one opportunity. Let's see how they play the clock. Feeds it to the right side. Who's tries to back him in? With the teardrop. The Cavs with the ball. 32 seconds left in the first. Nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. to Jamison. Backs down. Shoots. Anthony Parker. Can play for one. No look pass to Bogans. Inbound pass. Down low. Defensive rebound by Jamison. Launches beyond the arc. No one on the rebound. Got it up. All right, that was actually really good. I'm not going to lie. Better than I ever expected. 2K11 actually is pretty fire on this. Um, I want to take the time out to actually show you guys the brilliance of PSP technology, PlayStation and Sony. Um, these many things, these little mini discs 
weren't just amazing concepts for games. They were actually concepts. Some of them are movies, like The Replacements. It's the UMD movie. Um, episodes, Beavis and Butthead. Like, these are whole episodes. Um, I have a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, yo, come on. We, we going we to have to check that out. We going to have to check that out. Going to have to check that out. We got... Um, Got both of them drawings. Gonna have to check that out. Unfortunately, because of copyrights, I ain't gonna be showing movies like Godzilla and none of them. But we, we got tons of these, tons of these things. And these little things right here, these these is magical. These is like mini DVDs, mini movies. These drawings right here, their their technology at that point was on another level. And then if you got like a memory duo stick, you could also put more on this. This was a memory duo stick that you could put into the side of it. Um, there was no limit of what you could really do with this thing. Not to mention if you got a special Pandora battery, you know what I'm saying? You got a special Pandora battery. You could uh, backdate some firmware and do some some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That uh, they ain't want you to do, but you still could. Um, I always got the, uh, multi-port John. Let me show, see if I can show you. So the multi-port John is this John here. It, it's both like the, uh, charger and you can hook it up to other means. Like mine was, I got a backup, got to get a backup, but you can hook it to other things besides, you know what I'm saying? Just charging the PSP. But I'm just going to give you a little bit of what it looks like handheld as opposed to what it looks like also on a bigger screen because we're running it through a capture card. So you're seeing it on the big screen. I also want you to see what it looks like on a little screen. So hold on one second. We're going to finagle some stuff so that you guys can get a view of what it looks like. All right. So now that we have power by a little LED, we actually going to hold up the power button so that we can turn on the uh, PSP. Y'all see that? There we go. You might be familiar with the loading screen and the menu screen because PlayStation has ch rarely changed over the years. So we gonna pop on here. Um, Give me one second to configure this. Um. All right, there we go. So you can see there. And like I said, there's the menu screen. Can y'all see that? Yeah, there's the menu screen. Uh, what it pop into? Hold on, here we go. Da 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 da. Oh, give me one second. I have it hooked into my uh, USB on my computer. It may not be strong enough. I might have to hook it into a wall, an actual wall. Uh, that's what I was trying to show y'all. There you go. Can y'all see that? So it actually, I actually have BB some butthead in there, so that you can actually see that. Um, let me see. Everything, everything else on here? Yeah, it's all good. I gotta take my glasses off. Um, I see better, believe it or not. Uh, what's that? John, that's one in there. Yeah, we don't need to do that one on there. All right. So, like I was showing you. So, let's say, like, um, you click on the UMD, which is what's in here, which in this case is the actual movie. Put the volume up. See that, John? See that? Yeah. 
Told y'all. John is the John is legit. See? And do y'all see that? And you just hit like play all or hit button. And it's the actual drawing. Yeah, see that? It's the actual drawing. Yeah. Welcome to Hard Story. Tonight we bring you another special report. Yeah, it's the actual drawing. Yeah. So yeah, and what it basically is, is you literally just see from the back of this, you hit this little eject slot here and it opens up and pops out the actual joint. So that's the actual disc slot that it goes in and you just literally just pop it in there and close it shut and it brings up the menu on there. I know it's hard to see because of the light, but yeah. So that's how them UMD movies and games was run. And then you see it popped right up on there. So yeah, so we're gonna jump back into the gameplay, but I wanted you to see both it on the handheld and then also on the big screen. So you're gonna get the best of both worlds. All right, let's jump into some more games. All right, on to the next one. The true greatness of a player can't be measured by just what's in a box score. That one is laced in blue waters of the San Francisco Bay, sparkling in the background. A great look at beautiful AT&T Park. As MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good one on tap here, as it'll be the Washington Nationals taking on the San Francisco Giants. And hi again, folks, alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. I'm Matt Vaskersian getting set for an intriguing matchup here. Rex, let's begin with you. What are you going to be keeping your eye on in this ball game? Well, we've got a couple of starting pitchers in this one that are both capable of throwing shutouts. So it'll be interesting to see which one of these two blinks first. All right, Rex, thanks, I guess. Dave joins us in a minute, but first it's time to take a look at our starting lineup for the visiting Washington Nationals. It comes courtesy of our friends at State Farm. Call, click, or visit and start saving today. Leading things off is Niger Morgan out in center field. Ian Desmond bats second, he's at short. Ryan Zimmerman bats third, and he'll be at third base. After that, first baseman Adam LaRoche. Jason Worth is the right fielder hitting fifth. Rick Ann Keel will hit sixth and play left field. Pudge Rodriguez bats seventh behind the plate. Danny Espinoza bats eighth at second base. And on the mound in the number nine spot, the big right-hander, Levon Hernandez. They'll match up against the guy they call the freak, two-time National League Cy Young Award winner, the right-hander, Tim Lincecum. And there you see a look now at the Giants' defensive alignment behind him. Major Morgan will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. Oh, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0-2. Coming right at him right away, trying to set the tempo early. Now the pitch lays off that time and it's one and two sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff not there swing and a hard liner to center field and that's in there base hit Good job of hitting right there to open up the game. Let's see if they decide to put him in motion. Ian Desmond 
will get his first opportunity now. First pitch to him. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the throw. And he got him at second on a perfect throw. Well, with his speed, this has got to be a perfect throw. And sure enough, it's right on the money. Caught him trying to steal second. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. Had him hacking at the 2-0 change, and it's back to 2-1. this the other way to right in there the base hit well take a look it seemed to me he was expecting something off speed but you see how well he adjusted the fastball there Ryan Zimmerman will be the batter First pitch coming. And this is cut on and missed below the knees, and it's 0-1. And the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. It's a piece here as this ball is fouled away. That's a foul ball. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. DeRosa will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So a runner at first with two away, and stepping in is the first baseman, Adam LaRoche. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. in that time as he's barely able to foul it away. He set now the pitch. Just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here. That's a foul ball. it high toward the left side of the infield. Sandoval is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So a couple of hits here in the top half but nothing comes of it. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Starting lineup for the host Giants looks like this. It again comes courtesy of State Farm. Andres Torres is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Freddy Sanchez will bat second and play second. Then comes Aubrey Huff. He'll be over at first base. Buster Posey will bat fourth. He's behind the plate. Cody Ross is the right fielder hitting fifth. Mark DeRosa will hit sixth and play left field. 2002 MVP Miguel, Miguel Tejeda. Tejeda. He's short. Pablo Sandoval will hit eighth and play third. And doing the pitching, batting ninth. Tim Lincecum. And set to square off against this lineup is the longtime Major League hurler and former World Series MVP, right-hander Levon Hernandez. And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. Andres Torres will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. in there 
for strike one. Come on, Hernandez! Swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Only two pitches, but he looks pretty sharp to start the ball game. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Field grass now. Desmond backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. Freddie Sanchez. We sell any cars. We sell any cars. We sell any cars. We sell any cars. And that misses inside one and zero. Oh. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. The 1 0 pitch. And this one's over for a high strike, 1 and 1. Here's the ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration, and there are two gone. corner so it's knotted up at one and one and this is fouled back and out of play Stay alive as this is fouled back. That's a foul ball. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. Buster Posey will step in now. above home plate. You see how much of the plate this catches and guys will not miss these. Cody Ross will take his cuts now. First pitch on the way. And this one's hit on the ground but foul. to two and one now. He 
in there, and it's even now, two and two. Got to have a little better plate coverage up there. Now the 2-2 pitch. And the slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. All right, that was kind of boring. No champagne games yet. Uh, we started off with the sports. I knew they were going to be like a little bit of the slower kind. But now let's move on to some good stuff. Let's move on to some better things. I want something better. I want some good times. Let's let's open this up. Let's open it up and see what we got here. Let's open this up and see what we got. All right, let's see what we got going here. This is Japanese import. This is one of my Japanese import games. Bandai Namco Games. ですよね。どこかのんびりしてて。私、日本でもよく乗るんですよ。あ。あのおばあさん、ちょっと具合悪そう。ちょっと具合悪いみたい。おい。いいから席譲ってやれよ。おばあちゃん具合悪いんだからふざけんじゃねえぞ。I know what you're saying. After five houses, where do I be getting these games? I know, I know. But the problem is, hold on, let me stop this for one second. Hold on. 
See, my problem is, is like I said, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So if you ain't never played none of these joints, you ain't never going to know about nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? When you come across some of these games where you see either online or come across them at like a, uh, a discount store or like a, a farmer's market or something, take a chance. Play them. You never know. You might find something amazing. And I love these Japanese imported games. So on to the next game. Still no champagne game yet. But we are in search of the champagne game on the PSP. Haven't got there yet, but we're we're on the verge. Stick with me. Now y'all know, y'all just simply know that in all the gameplays we've been doing, we had Mortal Kombat. So why would not why would we not have Mortal Kombat on this as well? So yeah, you know we got it. I decided against Mortal Kombat because I just don't want to see me get my ass whooped one more time. So I'm going to jump into something else. Y'all don't want to watch me die on Mortal Kombat. Maybe y'all do. That's sadistic. But I ain't no Mortal Kombat. I ain't Phil, my brother. So we going to jump into something I'm more accustomed to. Racing. Team Red Shell. Except for we going to do Pac-Man racing. <laughs> Oh yeah.